Hello fans and welcome to our AASU Coaches Corner for September 12th. I'm with head volleyball coach Will Condon. Pirates went 3-2 and two last week, including 2-2 two and two at the ASU Pirate Volleyball Classic. And Coach Condon, just give us a few uh, general impressions of how you think the Pirates played this week. Well, I think um, we started off a little sluggish against Savannah State. Um, I, I, I know we won in three, but I, I would have liked to have seen us play a little more sharp, a little more crisp. Uh, especially how we finished playing the week before on Saturday. I was hoping that would carry over, um, but it really didn't. Um, and then Friday I was disappointed in our match with Rollins. I thought um, Lauren, our assistant, did a great job of um, scouting and preparing and game planning for Rollins, and I just don't think we did a, a good job at all about following that game plan. Uh, then, I th then we turned around and played um, Huntsville and played really well. Uh, I was impressed with our ability to sustain the level of play for that in the entire match. Um, Saturday morning, I thought we would start off a little sluggish again, and then uh, played better, and then kind of backed off uh, towards the end of the match. And Florida Southern, um, we played really well at times, and and then, but it was just difficult to sustain it. And that that was probably the hardest part about playing Florida Southern was having to play at a high level for a long period of time. Now you've already uh, played nine matches two weeks into the season. It's one of the few college sports where you play, the majority of your schedule is front loaded rather than back loaded. Um, what kind of challenges does that present you as a coach? Yeah, playing about, a, you know, between a third and a quarter of your matches in 10 days. Uh, the difficulty is, um, should you have an injury, uh, you know, that's a big portion of your schedule is taken up by that injury. Uh, it, it, it makes it difficult to make any sort of adjustments uh, between matches because you, in the weekends you have no practice between matches. Uh, and even between the two weekends, uh, like this week, we only had, um, you know, three days of practice. And it, it's just not a lot of time when you're still trying to recover from four matches. So it... it the, the good part about it is that you, your players learn to have a short memory and that even if you play well, you have to turn around and play another one. And if you play bad, you have to turn around and play another one. Uh, so you kind of develop that short memory of th that's over with, it's time to move on. So. One of the players that I think played very well this weekend is freshman outside hitter Jessica Santanello. Uh, she had 15 kills against Florida Southern, averaged 3.4 kills per set. Talk about her play this weekend. Jessica's played really well. She's played well, well the whole year. Um, she had maybe one or two matches where her hitting percentage wasn't uh, as high as it probably could be, but uh, she's taken a lot of swings for us. Um, and I think she's still she's still learning and adjusting to playing at this level. Um, she we ask a lot of our outside hitters uh, as far as their responsibility on passing and defense and serve receive. And um, I mean, she's, she's done an excellent job so far, um, but we're expecting her to be uh, a great player for us for many years. Coach Connor, was there any other players that you were pleased with their effort this weekend in the Pirate Classic? Honestly, I'm, I'm pleased with everyone on our team right now. I think that they're all doing a great job. Um, Tori has responded well this year. Uh, it, it, like Jessica, we ask, we're asked a lot of her responsibility-wise with, with the serving, the passing, and the defense, and she's played really well, um, and, and she, her blocking is, is always good, so that helps, uh, especially against a team like Florida Southern, it helps slow one of their players down. Um, uh, with our two sophomore middles that we've been playing, um, they, they're still learning and, and growing in the position, but it, we've been pleased with how they've been doing. Uh, th at times, they've shown that they can be a real uh, a dominant force. Um, uh, Casey Howitt played an amazing game against Florida Southern. She, I mean, she was everywhere, passed really well, uh, so she did an excellent job. Um, Gwen has been uh, uh, exceptional for us. I mean, we're still learning how to get her that set that she needs consistently, but. Uh, she's done a, a great job um, and, and really provided a lift, lift emotionally um, at times. Uh, and then, of course, Megan's done a great job. I think, you know, from match to match, we're seeing improvements, and, and that's what we need to do. 
a lot of it right now is still learning to play together. Um, and you know, it's it's we're pleased with where we are, but we have a good uh, a good feeling about where we're going to be at the end of the year when it matters the most. Talk about your upcoming week. You have a midweek game on Tuesday against Velasa State, and then you get right into Peach Bowl conference play as you welcome in Lander and USC Aiken. Valdosta, Valdosta is a tough team. They, they are where we hope to be next year at this time. They'll, I think they have five out of six starters back, including much of their offense. Uh, they had, they had a, a good weekend uh, this weekend. Uh, it will be a tough match to go down there and play at their place. It's a very um, outside hitter driven team with two uh, experienced outside hitters, but, that, but they still have some good athletes that play in the middle and on the right. So it will be a good challenge for us uh, to prepare for the start of the conference season. Um, starting off with Lander and Aiken for the third year in a row, but this year at home, which will be nice. Um, you know, it will be a good introduction to our team as to you know, what playing in, in the Peach Belt is all about. Well, thank you for joining us, Coach Condon. Armstrong Atlantic State will be back in action, as you heard, on Friday at home against Lander, 7 p.m., and then on Saturday at 2 o'clock against USC Aiken. And you can watch those games right here on your home for Armstrong Atlantic State Athletics, ASUPirates.com.